New owner told us yesterday he was lied to when he bought Rizzo, that it was a clean company without any legal issues, and we're learning more that he has a long way to go to get to the bottom of this mess. We bought the asset uh, three weeks ago and sort of walked into a little bit of a hornet's nest, but we're working through it. He's also going to dozens of Metro Detroit cities and townships on a damage control mission so they don't cancel millions of dollars in trash contracts with Rizzo. Last night it was Dearborn Heights. He also confirms he believes Rizzo is company A, the pay for play contractor as alleged by the feds in the ongoing corruption investigation. He says he was lied to buying the company, that it was clean and may sue. I mean, we had no idea. We had specific representations in our purchase agreement um, that obviously were breached. Rizzo made big news yesterday when the former CEO, Chuck Rizzo Jr., resigned effective immediately. It turns out the Rizzo family held 15% of the company. The family sold the majority to Kinderhook, a private equity firm a couple of years ago. Both then sold to the new Canadian owners. The feds say in court documents that an official inside the company was a bag man paying bribes but was caught and in January lawyered up and agreed to cooperate with the feds to further their corruption investigation including hidden camera taping. We've seen this movie before in Detroit as the feds flipped another bag man in another corruption case eight years ago. So who is the new internal bag man? Was it Macomb Township trustee Cliff Freitas charged yesterday by the feds with bribery? He also worked for Rizzo until just two weeks ago or Chuck Rizzo Jr. That, we, that we are still investigating and we cannot confirm that at this time. So a lot more to come with the Rizzo company. We're going to stay on that part of this case coming up next hour at 6. Two township trustees here in Macomb Township accused of bribery, the one who worked for Rizzo, and another one in a civil suit. What happens here next, we'll see at 6. Live in Macomb Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.